Sidvani Halapua has for years been one of the Pacific's best known academics. He's been based in Hawaii at the East West Centre, but was a member of the team that worked on the political reforms in Tonga that have now been implemented. His father, the first Tongan Anglican bishop, built this church, and the priest thinks the top job could be his. Who knows, you might be, become the prime minister of the kingdom. Speculation about that possibility has been running high in Tonga because it is well known that the establishment has an intense dislike for the leader of the Friendly Islands Democratic Party, Akalisi Pohiva. He's been a sharp critic of successive governments since entering Parliament 23 years ago. Dr Halapur was persuaded by Mr Pohiva to stand for these elections and says he is not interested in being a compromise Prime Minister. Am I interested in the position? The answer is no. Very clear, I am not interested. If you ask for my opinion, my opinion is Agris Bohiva is the rightful person and he has the mandate to become Prime Minister. The Democratic Party needs the support of just two more members to have a majority in the Parliament, which also includes nine nobles. Dr Halapua believes they'll get those two from the independents and that Mr Pohiva's first cabinet will include some nobles. I'm pretty confident the government will be formed uh, within two weeks and um, it's up to the new speaker appointed by the king and, and the king and, and the new prime minister and his uh, cabinet members to decide when the first parliament will sit. The people of Tonga are also praying for a peaceful transition. Sean Dorney, ABC News, Nukabalofa.